a riddle to lighten the mood. What runs with no legs? Easy, a nose. You'll have to try harder than that, bro. Just you wait, smart guy. Hmm. That's gonna need more magic than we got, Sonus. Come on, let's find a way forward. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Fimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much. Falcon! <sighs> Come on, then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. That's Thimble Winner for Do you. Not. Watch where you're going. The plants are extra aggressive in this humidity. I recognize this market. Villages would meet and trade here. Why'd they never rebuild? Brother, do you really think she'll let us off the hook if you help her? I do not know. I choose to help. After that, we will see. Uh. A market, huh? Looks like they should... One way of looking at it. It's a strap -a loop do you? Where has everyone gone, I wonder? They must have withdrawn, hidden themselves out in the wilds, and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cockshot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My <gasps> idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again as soon as I was exiled?
What are you waiting for? Come on! This here would have made for a prime shop, Loki. Dwarves in Vanaheim? That would be something to see. bringing him up. My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Oh, I understand plenty. Plant life grows more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it, Dwarf. Listen, I know how bad it can get with you. Sindri and I were on the out so long it was like not having a brother at all. 
Now, I take some of the fall for that on account of me walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. Any of this sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is, that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like no time had passed. He went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. You gotta keep them close, or they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. Look, all I'm saying is, if you happen to find yourself talking to your brother, maybe the worst words said between you don't have to be the last one said. Enough! When the day comes to face prayer again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. Do you understand me? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Got a case of pride, I get it. Hope yours clears up quicker than mine did. A touching story, that was. Bite me. You wish. <laughs> this river... Yeah. It used to be filled with boats of people visiting from different villages. I've never seen it so empty. Not now, brother. We've got company. Not now, brother. We've got company. One of them hairy ass bastards! Say good morning! Got another one joining the party! Look alive! Right side, brother!
You can't do anything with that yet, it seems. Hold up, if you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah. All yours, big guy. <laughs> your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. Give me a boost. <clears throat> Don't go telling no one about that. Come on up! Bet you're glad old Fox around to save you. Uh-oh. Yeah! Ah! We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. Send another god to do his dirty work. Thor too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. <laughs> no, you're no brother of mine. You sold my sister to that prick. 
We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me. I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Yngvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So... You serve my sister. Put him down. What's with leaving me hanging like that, you crusty hag? Oh, can it, Blubber? Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. As you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Freya. <laughs> uh, Brock, what do you think you're doing just setting up shop at my fort? Just because I hugged you don't mean I ain't still sore at you squabbling sandpipers. We fixed it so you can come and go between the realms whenever you please. You're very welcome. Go. This here's my family, and I mean much to you, but I mean plenty to me does too mean something to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made up with my clunker head brother. Five million moon beans. I didn't realize the whole brothers were back in business. We're even cohabitating like a proper family. So don't tell me. Oh, okay, well, well, then you can nail me at the forge while you spill everything. Now, Brock, ain't you gonna introduce me to this tall glass of milk you got for a bodyguard? Of course I'm gonna. That's Kratos. Oh, you can call him whatever pops into your head. Kratos, Lunda. We go back. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. It fits. Good or what? Very good. Good fit. Ready when you are.
What are you looking for? Go get yourself killed, hear me? Very well. Yeah, I'll take your crap. It over already. What? You just came to stare? Sorry we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. I'm pretty used to only seeing Ace here in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That, that is a friendly face. Right? His name is Kratos, and no, the Ace here on Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since, uh, I lost count. What is your plan? Still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos. As long as you're working for my sister, be careful you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. I bet. Late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about your army. Oh, you're looking at it. What, you five? Against Odin's army? Well, six, if you count the dog. Oh, fuck me. Yep. Do you know their numbers? Oh, yeah, numbers, movements, outposts. We have good intel. Uh, just short on help. I see. Well... Let's have a look at the map, then. Now that the distractions are out of the way... I have words, if you would hear them. Speak, then. With anger you feel for your brother, I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. But I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about.
An ancient! I've had such difficulty killing you. I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own, thanks. Ah! 
Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family, my mess. I know Balder wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes, I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope. What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked.
We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya, but it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. <laughs> All those times I found you, why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. with Freya in the crops. We'd spend afternoons stealing honey bread from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. It's all so simple. Why did I have to come back here? And be reminded of all this. in ruin. May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out.
Desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in Nagoya. We marched though we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. These plants behave similarly to the sword holes we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril.
Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. Disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to find at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time, Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Ha! Well done, Groa. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? <laughs> Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. You can probably use those islands to get a better angle on the torch, no? Let's cross the bridge now. <laughs> Anyone alive be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't? After the price I paid to end one? Look around you, Kratos. See what happens when you don't fight a true evil.
That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. Bring back what you have lost any more than killing me. I am not my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things?
not tell me to kill again. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. Let's go. It's just past those doors. <laughs> I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgard. What is this place? My home. I was born here. <sighs> Hold on. Something's not right. Opin Bera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Nico! The creature! It belongs! 
wrong, Odin? No. It protects Yggdrasil's roots wherever they are. Bastards are counting on it. Good. Yeah. Keep at it. Oh. Don't just yeah. stand there.
it done. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? I can do either. There's still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Look. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. Not for that. I do not regret saving your life. And never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. Myself again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment.
We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freyr. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. I think we'll need to adjust our strategy since there's more than one. Let's try using a sigil. Now the sigil should hold the frost, even in the axe's absence. Well done. Out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. Uh! 
Could I ever think of this place as home again? After all that's happened. Skull and Hottie are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. You won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large, bulbous thing. You can't miss it. What is this? I don't know. But giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. Oh, <laughs> 
So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Deimos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now, how to get across? My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. Glad you have a spouse to remember fondly.
all my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depth to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. Hmm. <laughs> Watch for the plants. They like me, but strangers not so much. I see that. I think you'd have better luck burning it. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. <laughs> no. It really is you. <laughs> You've returned to us at last. Yes. Let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne, we'll rebuild, me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. <sighs> You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. 
We lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me. Freya, please. I... I thought you were dead. Yeah. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have you any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. Oh, I missed you so much. And I you. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare heads. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, even you ain't staying here. Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother. Here to meet our new allies, or shall we depart? I was good, mate. No stopping. Help a lady out, please. What is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster <laughs> than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. So frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a zombie. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge. Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? 
I do not know. Still owe me the story of who made these things. Tell me about the camp star. Lord Freya found her half dead in the jungle. She probably escaped with a blow through the I'll tell them she was beyond saving. But he never gave up. She healed and has left. Keep your bits in all the right places. A good fit. And Lady Freya? You know what you want? you a little while. Very good. 